Hola, ¿qué tal? Bienvenidos y bienvenidas a este nuevo webinar de Tour que hoy tiene por título Data Engine, mejores decisiones con el menor riesgo y que vamos a realizar junto a SimpleView. Para ello nos van a acompañar Carmen Gualda, que es su Account Manager, y también tenemos a Austin Strable, que es director de producto de SimpleView. Hola, Carmen. Hola, Austin. Hola, buenos días, David. ¿Cómo estás? Bien. Eh, bienvenidos al webinar. Eh, nada, Carmen, te paso la palabra y, y empezamos. Perfecto. Bueno, pues encantada de estar aquí con vosotros de nuevo. Eh, venimos hoy yo y mi compañero Austin a hablaros de nuestra herramienta Data Engine de SimpleView. Data Engine, eh, si, si tuviéramos que definir nuestra herramienta con una frase, eh, sería la siguiente. Eh, te ayuda a los destinos turísticos de todos los tamaños a descubrir el poder de sus datos y tomar decisiones informadas. ¿Vale? Eh, tiene, digamos, tres eh, partes principales nuestra herramienta. La primera es que te ayuda a recopilar datos tanto propios como de terceros. Eh, esos datos pueden venir de redes sociales, de Google Analytics, de motores de reserva, de bases de datos incluso que están en Excel, ¿vale? Te permite conectar todas esas diferentes fuentes de información y permite que los datos hablen entre sí. Con eso tienes un almacén de datos seguro y permanente y, además, eh, con Data Engine puedes compartir esa información con cualquier otra herramienta o sistema de datos. Y por último, nuestros paneles te permiten visualizar toda esa información de forma muy sencilla y encontrar respuestas a tus preguntas sobre el destino y sobre tendencias futuras. Y bueno, ahora voy a dar, voy a dar paso a mi compañero Austin que os va a explicar un poco más en detalle cómo funciona la herramienta. Bueno, gracias Carmen. Y perdón, pero ahora vamos a cambiar al, al inglés. Ok. So to start, uh, a little bit more about the product and how the whole platform works together. So at the very left, you see that we have multiple data sources, right? We have our social media sources. It can be Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, maybe more, right? We have our GA4, our Google Analytics data, our website data a lot of times. And we also could have third-party data. It could be extra sources that are out there or maybe it's physical Excel sheets that we have that we um, update manually. So we have all of these sources and what the product does is it's able to connect to all of these different sources and bring them into one spot, which is the data warehouse. The data warehouse stores all of this data and brings it into one spot that's very secure and um, very reliable as well. It's constantly updating so that you have um, very close to real-time data And again, it makes it so, so that instead of having to log into multiple platforms, you have the one spot for your data warehouse. From there, you have multiple options that you can do with your data. The first one is data analysis, where you can log in and you can start creating reports yourself to do some data analysis. You can connect to other tools and systems using the data warehouse almost as, as an API to connect your data to wherever it needs to go. And finally, it gives you the ability to create unified reports and dashboards. So no longer do you have one report with YouTube and one report with your website data. You can combine them all together to have a unified experience. Now, what we just talked about is, is a, a very common thing that you can see in the industry, right? How data can come together into a data warehouse and how you can use it in one spot. But let, let me show you a couple of the things that make SimpleView Data Engine unique. The first point here is being able to benchmark your destination with aggregate data sets. So aggregate data sets means data that's been pooled from multiple um, locations to combine into one data set that would represent the industry. So if you've ever wondered what is happening in the bigger picture, you are able to compare your data to the industry as a whole. And so, for example, on the screen here, we have um, an example from Google Analytics, your website data. And so imagine a time where your website data is, is low, your pages per session are low, maybe your engagement time, and you need to investigate why. A great first step is being able to compare your data against the industry. And if you can see that the industry is also low, maybe it's not a big problem that your website is also low. Now, if your website is low and the industry is up, that's when you need to do more research and it's time to take action. But this is a very powerful tool where you can compare your website data to 350 plus 
um, destinations that represent the industry. Next is the ability to dive into your data. And Simple View Data Engine gives you tools to be able to not only see data, but then be able to kind of investigate even further. So there's multiple powerful features, some that we'll go over later in a live demo, but it gives you the ability to see a number that maybe looks off and then research it even further. So here we're diving into a number, we're making it like show by days of the week, and we're looking at that same metric as before, but diving in even deeper into the data. Finally, there's report templates built by industry experts. So if you aren't sure which metrics are important in 2024, this is a great place to start. So instantly when you connect with Simple View Data Engine, um, let's say you connect your website data um, directly to Data Engine, all of these templated reports that we've created will instantly populate with your data. And so you don't have to worry about starting from, from zero, right? You can, you can um, log into the platform and immediately have these reports ready for you. And then from there, we can change the reports or tweak them to make them fit your destination perfectly. Now, this goes over some of the, the unique insights and unique value that Simple View Data Engine provides. Now I think it's maybe a good time to actually see the platform itself live. So with that, we are going to switch over to a demo. So to pause for a second, we are now in Simple View Data Engine. And this is the platform live. You can see I'm scrolling around. But just to give you a little bit of reference of what we're looking at, this is going to be kind of the end result, right? Um, this is going to be an example of a report that's been built already that, like I said before, once you connect your data, this would automatically populate for you. This one specifically is going to be on Google Analytics and is going to go over your website fundamentals. So I imagine this being your monthly report that you know every single month you make sure that it updates to show last month's data. And you're maybe at the beginning of every month, you're going to be checking this. So on this first page, there's a couple things I wanna highlight before we take a look at some of the rest of the report. First off are things that maybe are pretty standard, but it's important to know that they're available here in the platform. First, we have these filters, which are going to be our runtime filters, letting the end user or whoever's viewing the report change exactly which data they're looking at. Maybe it's preset to last month, but you want to see the entire year. This is where you could change that. Maybe for device type, I'm only interested in mobile traffic. So I could switch this to say, only show me mobile or only show me desktop. The same thing with channel right here. Maybe it's a, a report where we're very invested in our organic traffic. So this is where you could change that filter and say, all right, now only show me organic traffic. Some of the other things to point out are again, you're going to have your high level metrics on top but I wanted to, to point out this visualization that we're looking at down here, this column chart. So GA4 metrics breakdown. You can see right now, it's a, it's a pretty simple chart that shows you sessions, page views, and engaged sessions, right? These are some of the top metrics that are being recorded today for, for website data. And it's splitting this out into these different categories by channel, right? Organic, direct, paid, et cetera. Now, a really great feature is the ability to change how you're viewing the data and break it down by something different. So right here, you see it's broken down by channel, but very quickly, I could change this chart, and now I'm breaking it down by device instead. This is a really great way to save space on dashboards and quickly look at the same metrics, but just broken down by a different dimension. So now you can see we're looking at mobile, desktop, tablet, smart TV. And these are like a great way to say, okay, this is what matters to me this month, let's switch. Now, if we switch back, I wanted to point out one more feature here that's really cool. So you can see here that maybe these are the ones we care about, organic, direct, paid, 
There are a lot of the ones we're looking at, but let's say this month we want to look a little bit more at email traffic. And you can see that the numbers are so low that it's hard to see in the graph. There's a great feature though that allows you to change this to show just the data table as well. So now we're looking at that same data, but it's much easier to ingest these numbers. And if I want to look at email traffic, now I can see that these numbers are much easier to digest and it gives me that ability to research a little bit further. You also have the option to show the details on this to maybe show, all right, email, we had over 7,000 engaged email sessions. Maybe I want to know which pages were these, were these engaged sessions at. So this is a way for you to explore that data even further. To show off the end of this feature, you also have the ability, if there's space, to have both the chart and the table but I think there's not enough space on the page for this one. So let's change it just back to the chart and move on. More features of the report are just the ability to have pages that just have you know, a very in-depth table, something like this, where you're looking at your GA4 top pages. And again, you're going to have all of your top metrics on this page, all connected to those same filters I showed you on the very first one. Similarly, just to show you a bit more of this report, um, you can put different conversions next to each other so that you can do a direct comparison between two, um, two visualizations. So here we have GA4 conversions overall, maybe between some of our top events that we're tracking. But this one, you can also track those same conversions, but now we've broken it up by city. And again, maybe you don't want to break it up by city. You want to break it up by country or by region or what it, whatever it may be. Those are things that you can easily change once you're in the platform. If I wanted to switch this filter out and say, I don't want cities, I want regions or countries, that is something that you are able to do um, very quickly and very easily. Finally, to just show the end of this report, you have your GA4 statistics table. And again, another table packed with data but it's great to have the ability to show either a table of data where you can get a lot of information or something more visual like this, where you can interact a bit more and you can see visually very quickly what's doing well and what's falling behind. Now, before we move on from this report exactly, I wanted to show you one last feature, which is the, the ability to automate this report even further. So imagine that we set this, let's say, let's set this to last month, right? So we're gonna look just at the last month of data and we're going to apply this. Now, as this is loading, the now we're setting the report to the last month of data and I would like to schedule the document. Now, this gives you the ability to say, okay, the document is always going to update to last month and I would like it to be sent to whoever needs to see this on a regular basis. So I think for website data, it's always safe to do the second or third day of the month to make sure that the data settles. But here, what we're doing is we're saying on the third of every month, let's send this document as a PDF and we can choose the email addresses, the email subject and body. And a great way to automate maybe a process that you do manually right now, where once you set up this report, the filters automatically update this report, and then you can even schedule it out to whoever needs to see it. And so that's one less thing that you have to worry about each month um, where these kind of board reports, summary reports are going to be ready for you and already taken care of. Now, this is just a report that shows you one data source that's very in depth, I would say. The other option is to show you reports like this, where you have a social media over, uh, overview report, for example. And something like this is where we're going to combine different, different sources of data together and have it in one spot so that we don't have to log into each platform. We can have all of our reporting in one place. Now, we won't go very in depth into each metric here because a lot of these will be familiar to you. But just to get an idea, this is another report where I can envision it being something that you send out once a month, right? And you just want one place where you can check all of your different social media data. 
So here you have your Facebook summary, your top metrics at the top, and again, just a chart right here that shows you where we're at for this year. Scrolling down, you get the, the exact same format, but with Instagram now. And that's really the power here is being able to say, okay, I have my quick snapshot of Facebook. Now let's look at Instagram. Now let's look at LinkedIn, for example. And this can keep going and going, and you can add as many sources as you like to this report so that you don't have to, again, log into multiple places. It is all in one spot, ready to go. This report also includes YouTube. Now, imagine for this one specifically that you would like to add another source of data to it. Maybe some of those um, metrics that we just looked at in Google Analytics. It is a super easy and quick process to add um, more sources of data, especially if you've already built them out elsewhere in the platform. So we're not going to talk a lot about what's over here. This is kind of, again, the editing part of the platform and it's something that we would be more than happy to train you on. But just to have a little bit of reference, you can just see that it's kind of the high level settings. What is the theme? Let's make sure that our destination's branding is shown here. And so that maybe if you guys don't use blue for your platform or for your destination, it changes to red or orange or whatever your colors are. But back to the data, let's look now at, these are our four pages, right? Ending on the YouTube. But let's say we just wanted one of those visualizations from Google Analytics as well. I'm going to choose just a very basic template. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, add a visualization. Scorecards, we're not going to add right now, and we don't need text yet as um, either. And let's say we're going to type in GA4 top pages. That was one of the big charts on the other one. I can select this visualization, add it. It's going to think for a second as it retrieves that visualization. And you can see now how easy it is to just quickly add a page to this report, put in GA4 top pages, and now I'm going to save it and go back to the other page. Now, when I go to the bottom of the report, you can see that now my Google Analytics top pages is included. And again, maybe you wouldn't want to add it to this report, but a lot of times having website data and your social media data, they do have some similarities and trends, and it's good to see these, um, these data sources side by side. So that's a quick overview of the platform. We would love to show you more at any point, but for now, I'm going to get back to the presentation and present again. All right, off to you, Carmen, if you could please summarize. Perfecto, muchas gracias, Austin. Eh, pues nada, para, digamos, eh, resumir un poco lo que ha contado mi compañero Austin, me gustaría poner un ejemplo, ¿vale? Un ejemplo práctico de, una, de un destino turístico y las personas que trabajan en, en él. Por ejemplo, un equipo de marketing, ¿vale? Que tiene que realizar un informe sobre el mercado británico porque en dos días tiene una presentación. Eh, ¿Cuál es el primer problema con el que se encuentran? Que tiene una gran cantidad de datos de diferentes fuentes. Datos de Google Analytics, de las visitas que ha recibido la web de las personas procedentes de Reino Unido, datos de las llegadas de los procedentes de los aeropuertos británicos, datos de las oficinas de turismo locales. Y tienen que navegar y discernir cuáles de esos datos son útiles y comparar esos datos. ¿Cómo le pone solución nuestra herramienta? Pues con una única plataforma que limpia esas fuentes de información y hace que esos datos se hablen entre sí y lo muestra en paneles personalizados. ¿Vale? El segundo problema con el que se pueden encontrar eh, estas personas, eh, tienen que generar un informe en un plazo muy ajustado, en dos días, eh, para esta presentación. ¿Cómo le ponemos solución nosotros con Data Engine? En primer lugar, nuestra herramienta permite enviar informes programados, preprogramados, que se pueden enviar de forma diaria, de forma semanal o de forma mensual. Y en segundo lugar, los informes se pueden crear en un solo clic. Se, como habéis visto, mi compañero lo ha, lo ha mostrado, se, se seleccionan las diferentes fuentes y se pueden mostrar en un solo clic. Y el tercer problema también con el que se pueden encontrar estos técnicos es que no tienen recursos suficientes eh, de, humanos, recursos humanos suficientes, o que esas personas que sí que tienen a lo mejor el conocimiento no tienen tiempo para generar esos informes. ¿Cómo le ponemos solución? Pues nosotros tenemos un equipo eh, de ingeniería de datos y de ciencia de datos que eh, 
como he comentado, te ayuda a personalizar esos informes y a preprogramar esos informes. Y además os ayuda a sacar el máximo rendimiento a la herramienta. Y bueno, por último, me gustaría dejaros con un par de preguntas que, que me gustaría que os hicierais, sobre todo si trabajáis en destinos turísticos. La primera es, ¿cuáles de vuestras fuentes de datos nunca se han hablado entre sí? Y la segunda es, ¿qué proceso de generación de, generación de informes son actualmente engorrosos o realizáis de forma manual? Pues con Data Engine nosotros podemos ayudar a ayudaros a resolver eh, esas dos cuestiones y me gustaría dejar también eh, mis datos de contacto por si queréis eh, saber más información sobre la herramienta o que realicemos una demo personalizada para vosotros. Pues nada, muchísimas gracias. Eh, gracias Austin también por, por participar y por colaborar con nosotros. Claro. Y nada, cualquier cosa, aquí estamos. Gracias. Muy bien, pues muchísimas gracias Carmen y Otin por vuestra presentación y por vuestro tiempo. Gracias también a todos los asistentes y nos vemos en el próximo vídeo. Un saludo, gracias. Gracias.